I am looking for a female officer who arrived yesterday with a gunshot wound. You need to be a little more specific, honey. Her name is Lewis. She is in a coma. Ah, oh, second floor. Take the elevator. Uh, my wife. She was with me when they started shooting. I'm sorry. Oh, Make sure no. there's no secondary no. missions down here. Okay, I think we're good. Apparently, I'm a pro at missing those. Sir, you're not allowed in there. That's the VIP section of the hospital. But there's so much room in there, and we're all cramped up in this little space. Sir, please calm down. <laughs> My assistance is not needed here. Just going to pry through people's private deals here. <laughs> private writings. Hey, Murphy. She's right in here. Thank you, partner. Another visitor? She's in a stable condition. You know... Some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them, even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Now, I'll leave you two alone. Okay. I'm programmed for bedside manner. Hello, Lewis. Allow me to update you on our case. I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has the street vultures collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. Kidney, David. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. I could really use your advice, Lewis. Take the body downstairs. But there's no more room in the morgue. Didn't you hear? Someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend. A corpse thief? What is this world coming to? Lewis, you always find a way to help. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Bit of a stretch, but we'll give her I'll credit I'll keep her safe. That. Don't you worry about her. Well, apparently she's in, in a prophetic coma, so I don't think you have much to worry about. Go to the morgue. What's her blood pressure? Uh oh. I've got 40 pal. We're glitching. Of course, VFEB. Okay, we gotta shock him. Let's get the ambu bag. Wait, does this mean when Stand clear. Here? Shock him. Clear. All right, no pulse. Oh, I think Let's that's... go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody, clear. Stand clear. Ooh. All right, I think that's all we can do. Let's call it. What's the time? Six fifteen. Amazing. What kind of department is that? What a surprise. Hmm. Something right here. All of the individuals whose bodies were stolen were healthy and physically fit prior to their deaths. Apparently someone wanted... I'm sorry, apparently someone on the black market needed brains. But for what? For brain transplants? No one has made a successful brain transplant since, well, me. Hmm. I'm guessing you're here about the missing bodies. No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you are preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 of them. 
It's been a blessing in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there wow. any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. They didn't take a single corpse that had documented brain trauma. I've got to say, they were very thorough. Anything else? That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Now that I'm looking at you, didn't I work on you? I recognize that jawline. It's possible. Um, let's see, if they're making sure they get that many intact brains, I'm guessing someone's trying to make another Robo Me. Because that worked out so well with King. <laughs> Robo Tattoo. Finally, I've been calling you guys. Oops, sorry. What do you know about the disappearance at the morgue? Sure, sure, I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLE. Then most likely used the EFS to get down to the MORGUE. What can you tell me about the perps? We caught their leader. You caught him? Where is he? Oh, I mean on camera. Uh, there it is. Caucasian male, late forties, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. That well, was very there. helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Just because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest, that doesn't mean that I can't be of help to the police. I mean, you fit the character. Let's see. Anything here? Nope. I think we can go. I'm surprised we literally didn't have to spell it out for him. Holy shit. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park. But between you and me, what you did was quite impressive. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. So, let's see how you did. So far, so good, I think. We only tripped out a bit in the elevator. Only missed one. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, I knew I missed that one. It might still be an A. Ah, B. For B, beautiful in silver. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. What's all the commotion? Ooh, wait. Where is... I want it to a nice motherboard. Let's see what we can do with this thing. I can just do this from the menu, I think. Alright, well, let's see what can I do about this. <clears throat> That'll work. Ah, so we just have to be cre or creative about uh, avoiding the negatives. So... Ooh, I'm going to look piercer. Nice. So let's take this guy. Well, I guess we'll have to wait on <clears throat> full out of mode. Other than that, not too shabby. Okay, so in the end we're at 20% negatives. Not too bad, but we've got full auto going on and piercer. Uh, weapon spread reduction. Weapon damage. Uh think we're gonna be okay. What's this? Excuse me. You all know the procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. 
They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something to honor him. Best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in ten minutes. Now back to work! Hey, Murphy. You've been to the hospital, haven't you? How's Lewis? Unconscious, but stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm sure of it. It's time to hold OCP accountable. This can't keep happening. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it, so maybe let's focus on that? Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. Oh, this should be fun. See you later. Welcome back, Robo. You have a minute? First of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I hesitated back at that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. Fucking right. As I was writing it, I'd noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? Yeah, you need to hit the books, Ricky. There are plenty of places to improve. That's actually something I wanted to ask you about. I've been getting to know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at. It's shooting. Would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Yes, practice makes perfect. Let us not waste any more time. You want to go now? <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go. How do I practice? With automated, automatic AI aiming. That's how. I love targeting. Those. Should we start? First, I want to watch you practice. Okie dokie. Can, can I come in now? No. I can't help myself. That was awesome. We are not done yet. Right. Oh, man. Terrible. I took so many notes. Next time, do it quietly. Eliminate distractions. Being overeager is one of them. Ah, uh, so that's the actual lesson. Now I get it. Is your service weapon properly prepared? I was issued this old gun and serviced it according to the manual. I will try it out. Sure thing. Oh, I gotta do this again. There you go. Score at least 15 points. That should not be a problem. Huh. Is everything okay? No. Your shit is all terribly. Your service weapon is broken. Yes. I calibrated it. I did everything the manual said. It is beyond repair. They must have issued it to you by mistake. Huh. I don't think that's entirely true. Other cops give me a hard time because Mr. Becker hired me to monitor you. But I guess that's the way it has to be. A cop must be ready. Get a different gun. Sure. Chop, chop. Thank you, Robo. Holy crap. He needs a he needs a new PCB on his gun. Okay, uh, back to what we were originally doing. Ah, there's my favorite law enforcement officer. Yeah, it's pickles. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes, and the food is better than in the soup kitchen. That is resourceful. Why, thank you. I try very hard to not try at all. But seriously, <laughs> I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... You are not a ronin. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just remember, if you need anything, I'm your guy. 
Well, if you need James Cushing, I'm your guy. <laughs> Alright, off to the briefing room. Again. Why am I always the one that has to do it? It's not fair. What is it, officer? Huh? Uh, oh, I, I, I didn't realize I was talking out loud. It's just that I need to hang Briggs's picture on the memorial wall. It's just a lot. Hey, would you be so kind and help me? All you have to do is find Briggs's photo in the database and print it out. Just make sure to hang it straight. Otherwise, I won't hear the end of it from Sarge. Okay. Uh, print and hang a photo. Where do I do this at? Let's see, database. Bravery, unit commander, officer of the air, department award. Let's see. There we go. Done and done. Thanks, Murphy. I still need to go get his stuff, so you know I'm gonna take care of the desk. But could you get his belongings from his locker? But you are lazy. Got my photo, baseball, and tickets. Briggs was a sports fan. You can put everything in the box. I'll make sure his family gets it. You know, I usually do all of this alone, and it doesn't get any easier no matter how many times I do it. But having you share this responsibility with me, it actually helped. Thank you, Murphy. No problem. Thanks to RoboCop's insubordination, we finally have something concrete. At your service. Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang. We also know what he's looking for. Yeah, dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow. That's even more messed up. Why would he need him? We'll get to the whys, but for now we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. What in the hell? <laughs> Okay. I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. That's a trap. I'm guessing whatever's making me go haywire is probably in there with them. All right, everyone pack up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out! That's probably exactly how they'll see it, too. Or Becker will see it. Meh, meh, meh. 
That's Robocop song. That's oh, not good. Look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need. SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? That's the SWAT team. Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. If we're not going to say anything. this brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. Yes. Stop walking in front of my skin. Take off Jesse and Jack's arms hurts. Contact, contact. Let's show our merry friend how it's done. Oh, we're doing another efficiency challenge. Yeah, no, Robocop's taking this one. Ooh, wow, I took some damage. No worries, I got it. Well done. Robocop, open the gate for the Ed 209 units. We'll secure the area. Anything uh, I want to use? Did I win that? Tell me I won that. Right, oh. Try to hit that one more time. Let me guess there's a fuse box right here. Close. Very close. I have a goop right away. Where am I going? Oh. Up top. Oh, good stuff. I don't think we're needed anymore. Well, that's the extinction squad. Please put down your weapon. Your weapon. I can see your bank job turned out to be quite intense. So far, so good. One's you down. That was fast. Oh, shit. What happened? Please put down your weapon. Please put down your weapon. Leaving all frantic because I'm trying to beat it. What the hell? There's an armored gate in lockdown mode in front of you. 
Find a way to get past it. Try finding the weakest spot in the wall around the gate and breach through that. I think you got him, buddy. Ooh, I'm still ahead. My AB gets so bad. Uh, ooh. Every time. I didn't mean to. Pretty sure I didn't mean to. Uh, don't act like you're all that impressive. With all that fancy tech, a brick would know how to shoot. <laughs> I mean, that's a fair point. It really is. Let's see what's back here. I can take one? Yes, I do. Robocop, one I've received information that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. Your presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit? A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? Hmm. I am focused on making the city safe. That's also true. Ooh. Let's go this one. I am working on the no crime part. Then OCP may become the object of your attention soon. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. It's probably safer if you're detained, but... No, you're a free spirit, lady. You can go, but if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you, and I owe you too. I think I'm doing pretty good on public trust so far. What do y'all think? I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. Scanning for caffeine. I will not 
contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard earned savings. I think we have a hostage situation what? here. <laughs> Like that's all of them. Robocop! I knew our founder would send his best. <clears throat> We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive. I only played dead so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. What a the piece of work that guy is. Company enormous losses. I need the support of a combat engineer. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games on his brakes. Ask him for help. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, I, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping. Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Oh. Found it. First rule, call qualified personnel. Oh no. Okay, tell me what you see. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables, got it. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. Cables lead to the fuse. Three, Does yeah. the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. There's four. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect. Okay. I did not so do they that. Use this kind of bomb the game before. did that. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. I will have to improvise. Just remember, detach the one with the highest voltage first, then proceed down to the lowest voltage. Okay, three wires. We don't know which 12 volt is the one, so we're gonna have to guess. Alright, so first off, 24 volt cut. Uh, 12 volt green, 12 volt red. I'm sorry, 12 volt blue, 12 volt red. Oh lord. Wasn't that one? Okay, so 24 volt green, 12 volt blue, and then third wire would be six volt. That's the one, right? Yes. Ah! Said three wires. He said detach three wires. That's four. Okay, round three. We know how this goes. 24 green. 12 blue. 12 red. You have 12 red? Yes. Oh, it was three. Okay, my bad. Apparently that was user error. <laughs> He only went exploded like three a times. Minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Cause I need to make a withdrawal. Like now. Seriously? I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. <sighs> now. Open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. Now out of my way. 
That is a hell of a vault door. <laughs> and an empty ass vault. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Tunnels? Back with the money in the next. We're leaving. You should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about? Just for spelunking. What am I looking for? Oh, just chasing down the rest of them. Grenade launcher going off. Yeah, there he is. The boom, boom. Yeah, I think this does more damage for some weird odd reason. I'm not sure if the bullet penetrator thing is working or not. I am in pursuit of the remaining bikers. I have followed them into a tunnel. So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry. Oh, can pick that one up. Can pick this one up. I completely missed that the first time. Look, reusable. Look, you ran into it. And yeah. it's big enough to store their vehicle. It's your best bet to proceed there. Roger that. Come here, please. Haha. <laughs> Sumo splash. That's a lot of those. Grabbed him. Okay, oh, this way. <laughs> that dash is handy. I take a little bit of damage from it, but not too much. Please, 
Yes, it was. Oh. Thank you much. Oh, I don't know what hit me. That did some damage. Not see it. I think we'll run with this. I am listening, creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. <laughs> a little robo jiggle there. Before the attack, we all thought our money would be safe at the OCP bank. I have yeah. pertinent information Glad we got Murphy on our team. Case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. Will do. What's the big idea? Piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. Looks well, like we need to fix the uh, bigger box first. Robocop, is that you? I can't see anything. I am standing in front of you, Officer O'Neill. Is there a problem? Oh, see, P skimps on everything when it comes to the police. Fired our maintenance guy to reduce their costs, so now we are literally in the dark. We need to get the power back on. I am equipped to deal with such situations. Duh, officer. There we go. Follow the cables. They should well, that's still working. Cables? Oh. Uh, okay. There it is. Alright, cooling cell. Oh, that's 
Detroit shining beacon of hope. Thanks for the help, Murphy. So it was. I'm ready for your robo. Send us insulated gloves. Nobody's ready for I'm me. I'm afraid not. Looks like OCP is really cutting costs. All like right. Candy. Let's God see what's cooking under the hood. Once I'm hey, done, he's all yours, doctor. Oop, no secondaries this time? Am I good? Oh, the spank secrets. Making sure we're rusted. Oh, I'm a terrible police officer. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I'm probably going to get across the board. Hello, Murphy. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No. Your sense of duty is what drives you, that's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? Ooh, that's a tough choice. Hmm. Probably was for the best. They would not want to see me like this. Perhaps not. But the alternative isn't much better. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? Yeah, I think Echoes of the Past is pretty accurate. As Echoes of the Past. But OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you. I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. Not a problem. I've got plenty to think about for now. Okay. Off to the briefing room. Yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh, you're breaking up. <laughs> Am I? I'm, I'm hearing you clearly. <laughs> oh my god, what a lemon. I think they're messing with uh, Ulysses. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Uh, just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. He's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? That did not sound like fun. It's not like he didn't deserve it. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. 
We're just looking out for you, Murphy. Hmm. Dubious pair. Scannable in there. All right. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough. Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Alrighty. Looks like uh, we are Robo teaming Pop. up with. Over here! Pickles. You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? And this guy, by coincidence, I think his name is Mr. Prickles. May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's going to do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. I think that's Judging the original by your voice. Expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city, and without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So, the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? <coughs> hmm. We're not really interested in politics. I am not involved in politics. Well, well let's not get too hasty. You can still show support for me. Right? We're on the same side. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. I have political impact now. Interesting. Alright, well, let's get out of here and uh, go team up with Pickles. <laughs>